am a recent turned activist. Okay, we're back. I think that. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Thank you. I think that demonstrating like we are today and voting like we plan to in the future can only do so much. But what I think is really important for us to all realize is that we can do things on a daily basis to help our environment. And what I mean by that is the V word, veganism. So I'm vegan and it is the single best way that we can reduce our carbon footprint. Yep. The main reason being that the production of, of beef uh, emits so much CO2. And if you hadn't heard, our Amazon rainforest is burning down so that we can create more land, sow more land for cattle. It's defini definitely one of the contributing factors to global warming, maybe the biggest. Furthermore, recycling, it's pretty basic. I recently saw a friend who had a uh, reusable bamboo set that she brings with her everywhere. So instead of using re re uh, using disposable cutlery, she uses her reusable bamboo set and she brings her little Tupperware so that she doesn't have to take to-go boxes. Just finding creative little ways like that. And also, I also recognize my privilege. I know someone said that earlier. So I encourage you all to find ways to, to take a stand, especially if you work for some of the big tech giants in the area. I went out to my CEO and I actually asked him to stop using our disposable, uh, you know, plasticware and plates and bowls because we have reusable ones right there. So just little steps like that on a daily basis can really make a difference outside of activism. Thank you guys. Hey everyone, my name is Heather. Uh, my forever reason for coming out here is because I love Mother Earth. Uh, my very personal reason today though is because I'm really exhausted at this uh, the system makes it nearly impossible to make choices that don't uh, contribute to the oppression of people all around the world. The system makes it nearly impossible to make choices that doesn't contribute to the destruction of ecosystems all around the world. I'm just tired. I want to be able to live in alignment with Mother Earth. I want to live in alignment with natural law. I want to follow indigenous leadership. Indigenous people here have not forgotten how to do this. We need to start listening to them. We just had Indigenous Peoples Day this Monday. Lots of indigenous resistance coming out of Ecuador, out of Brazil, Bolivia. A lot of the migrants at the border right now are climate refugees. Either their, their ecosystems and their habitats have been completely mismanaged uh, by corrupt governments that were influenced by the United States, or chevrons poisoned their environment. And so they're now here in a concentration camp. Now they're dying. And so the genocide of indigenous people has continued. Today we're calling on Governor Newsom to stop signing permits for the development of fossil fuel projects. Woo! Just stop. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. The Phillips 66 refinery wants to start refining more tar sands. And in order to do that, they've gotten Trump to start investigating how to dredge the bay to make it bigger, to triple the production of tar sands. Those tar sands are coming from First Nations land up in British Columbia, what we call British Columbia. Kanahus Manuel and the Tiny House Warriors, you can find out more about them at tinyhousewarriors.org. They are building houses in the line of the Trans Mountain Pipeline up on their land to stop this pipeline. Yeah. They are protesting the building of man camps. These man camps bring in outsiders from all over who don't give a crap about the people who live there or the land that they're on. It contributes to sex slavery, the sex, uh, sex trade. It contributes to the murder and missing indigenous women. There's a freaking crisis in Canada and North America and South America of murdered and missing indigenous women. The fossil fuel industry has been perpetuating the genocide of indigenous people. So I really, really want people to understand that this is not just about finding solutions. This is not about us keeping us settlers, keeping our way of life going. This is really about coming back into alignment, following natural law, honoring indigenous sovereignty, paying reparations to groups who have been marginalized for fucking ever. Well, I'm tired, I'm fucking tired. I want justice, I wanna live in peace. I'm tired, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> if you have a friend 
that you know is wants to also live in alignment, please bring them to our next general meeting. We have a meeting coming up Sunday, October 20th from 2 to 4 p.m. in Berkeley, California. It's really close to the Ashby BART. It's at 2939 Ellis Street, the South Berkeley Senior Center. Everyone here, please bring friends. We have a decolonization affinity group. We have a close the camps affinity group. We have slow down and space out, space out affinity group. We have so many ways for people to get involved. We're really looking at regenerative culture. We're looking at making this dramatic, bringing music. Thank you, Sandra, so much for singing, singing, our, singing us back into life all day. Uh, and thank you, Danielle, for, for putting together so much of this the theatrics to the Red Rebels who are expressing our grief and our love. Yeah. And tomorrow, is anyone here from uh, XR Sacramento? I am. Can you please speak to the action you have going on tomorrow? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, we're meeting at 11 a.m. Uh, on the uh, 12th, between 12th and 13th at L. Anyway, it's the capital. You can't miss it. <laughs> and it's going to be a funeral, basically. It's going to be a march around the building and then similar to what we did here today at Diane. Uh, I, loved, I loved being able to come here and see your ideas and take them back up to SAC because it's a small group, just like, you know, here. Not that this is a small group. It's a great big group. I love it. Um, yeah, it starts at 11, and the last time there was, we, we all saw each other at the youth climate strike. It sort of lingered and lingered and lingered, and um, it's beautiful. It's under the trees. It is the capital of California. It would be really nice to get a really large group up there because Gavin Newsom is up there, actually, in his office. And um, lingering, picnic, funeral. Funerals turn into a lot of fun, don't they? <laughs> And that's what XR is all about. It's we're inviting families and children and picnic baskets. And there's no personal uh, individual choices that are going to be condemned or, you know what I mean, rose and above anybody else's. So that's the groovy thing about XR. And I hope more. If, I hope if you know somebody up in SAC, tell them please come because we're also using it as an organizational tool. Because there's homeless up in Sacramento that don't need to be homeless. There's buildings that the state owns that, that could easily house the homeless community over the winter. And we're going to try to filibuster the government at some point real soon to try to make, you know, the, the motto is not one more winter outdoors. So, you know, help us with that, too. Thank you. All right. We're about to close. We're about to close this action for today. We're going to have... One of our Red Rebel, Rebel Ambassadors, who I, I didn't notice over there, wants to speak her reason for being here. And then we're going to close with a song led by Sandra. Um, my name is Marianne, and I'm here because this is where the heart is. That you all have brought your hearts here. And that's why I'm here. The grief, the anger, the passion, that's why I'm here. And those feelings and that expression is what's going to be the heart of creating solutions through information and putting your passion where your heart is into solutions that match that passion. So I just want to salute everybody here for bringing their passion. Thank you. Cara from XR. I just, um, I do want to thank everyone again for, for coming and participating. It was really smashing. And I just want to encourage everyone who came and participated today that you don't have to wait to do another one of these. When you can gather your family and friends, you can be a self-starter, and that all you need to act in the name of XR is to agree with our demands and principles. So I want to encourage everyone here over the coming months, we will have more events and more die-ins and more actions. But to, to think of, of this in your participation now and uh, going forward as your chance to go out and find people, form an affinity group, start getting out in the streets, and um, hey, just come out on the street and sing. Come out to the farmer's market in your neighborhood and die for, for 20 minutes. It makes an enormous difference. 
So thank you very much. Everybody put your hand on your heart real quick. And say thank you to yourself for being here. Yep. And feel that You're gratitude right for Mother Earth and for all the species and for future generations. Thank you. Thank you. And reach out and touch somebody next to you and say thank you to them with your eyes. We're numbers out here. We are strong. It's in our DNA to remember how to live in regeneration with nature. We are animals, just like all the other species out there. And we've taken a sidestep. Our population has gone straight through the roof. We've all seen what happens to species whose population grows so quickly. It's bad news shortly thereafter. And it's up to us to go back seven generations and think about seven generations in the future and how we can remember from our indigenous leaders, from our great-great-grandmothers, how to be a regenerative force on planet Earth through our own actions, through our actions in the world, through the work that we do, through the pressure that we're putting on our leaders, and becoming those leaders ourselves. This movement will grow. Invite 100 people to the next XR meeting. Invite 100 people to the next XR action. 10 will show up. And encourage each of those 10 to invite 100 more people. We are going to win this. We have to. We have no other choice. We all ready for our closing song? Yeah. All right, repeat after me. Oh, when the earth, when the earth begins to cool. Oh, when the earth begins to cool. Oh, how I want to live on that planet. When the earth begins to cool. Oh, when the women can all leave. Oh, when the women can all leave. Oh, how I want to live on that planet. Oh, when the women can all leave. Oh, when the youth are all in charge. Oh, when the youth are all in charge. Oh, how I want to live on that planet. Oh, when the youth are all in charge. Oh, when the earth, oh, when the earth begins, to cool. begins to cool. Oh, when the earth begins to cool. Oh, how I want to live on that planet. Whoa. When the earth begins to cool. One more time. Oh, when the earth, oh, when the earth begins to cool. Begins to cool. Oh, when the earth begins to cool. Oh, how I want to live on that planet. Whoa. When the earth begins to cool, when the earth begins to cool. Yeah. 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 Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you, everyone.